I just put this in the microwave for two minutes, shove this up my nose. You take one of these things and you dip it in the wax and shove it through those. And then, oh, just a bit. That's not easy. I have it all sticks together and comes out in one, one big chunk. So, after a shower, this bit was starting to just lift a little tiny bit. So I did actually use uh, a lipstick applicator in this. And I found because of the very narrow edge that I had to get into, especially in these little corner edges there, this actually worked better than the brush. So I'm, I'm glad I did get these lipstick applicators. Whereas, this would not have been a, would not have been as effective to get into those little gaps on the, on the edges there. It's just my nostrils are getting so fucking hairy. Look how long those hairs are. My DNA has just become mutated as I get older. So my arm hairs are going to be like that long. Oh my god, that's completely blocked. Look, just moved it all. Right. That's not, that's not good. Oh, that's sensitive there. There's a lot less hair in there now. See if this works.
Looks like there's one hair left. The bone's sort of bent around inside because I've, I've had nose reconstruction and everything from playing football and my sinuses had to have two operations. But unfortunately those operations haven't fully worked. There are a couple of extra hairs up there still. Well, I'll put this in the microwave for another, another 90 seconds. Okay, so it's running now. Hopefully it won't burn my nostril. My hair's already got some mark in it from earlier. It's pretty shiny at the front there. So in Victoria at the moment, my state, especially in Melbourne, Melbourne has stage four restrictions at the moment. So uh, that means for us after 8 p.m. We're not allowed outside of the house until 5 a.m. If you're found on the footpath outside your house, you'll get a $1,650 fine or something. Hundreds of people have been fined already. And I'm, I'm joking. They're really trying to contain this spread because Melbourne's got a, a large spike that's been going on for a few weeks. So the borders for every other state in Australia has closed their borders off to our state. And we're not allowed to cross into another state. That's illegal too. And you legally have to wear a mask, I just remembered. I can't go out, I've got to go for a walk to get out of the house. <clears throat> and I thought I might as well go to the bottle shop, which is now closing at 7.30 instead of 11 or 10 or whatever it was before. Oh, fuck that it. Oh my God, look at the mustache hairs. <laughs> Caught myself off guard.
buy some tweezers. I'm sure I've got the tweezers somewhere, probably in storage. A lot less hairy than it was before. <sighs> There's some works deep up inside there. I don't know if I'll be able to get that out. Hope it doesn't <laughs> stay in there for days. <laughs> I'm just hoping that the Membranes or pores in my nose nostrils will push it off. I don't know if I pushed it up into my sinuses or if it came out in that tissue. I saw a beautiful girl on TV with long brown flowing hair and I realized I should probably find a girlfriend before I die. Can't do it at the moment. There's nowhere to socialize. A family friend died today in Fiji. He was a chief. He, uh, he would have a state funeral normally, but I think there's a restriction of a hundred people at the funeral, which is small by Fijian standards, apparently. So I need to get on with living. I can't spend the next few years with like an ostrich with my head in the sand worried about COVID. I'm glad to not be in a relationship right now, but I wouldn't mind falling in love. Maybe, eventually, soon. Not soon. Eventually. I want time to slow down in some respects, but then when I've ordered something on eBay, I want time to hurry up so it will arrive. Anyway. So that's how you pick your nose effectively.